Hey there, this is Shelby from the Queen's Cabinet. In today's video, I'd like to share my menu plan for the week, and um, I'll tell you a little bit about our experience when we purchased the whole um, grass-fed cow. <laughs> Holy cow. And um, also our grocery haul. We haven't been to the store um, for any major uh, grocery shopping for like three weeks uh, since our last major haul when we went to the city. We have purchased milk and some lettuce, bread, a few little things like that, but nothing to speak of. So let me turn the camera around. My menu plan for this week is very straightforward. Monday, we're gonna have vodka, penny pasta. Tuesday, carne asada tacos. Wednesday, chicken parmesan with a spinach orzo. Thursday, the boys asked if I would make meatloaf again. I hadn't made that in a long time, and now they've requested it, so we're gonna have it back-to-back -back weeks. Friday, I'm gonna do um, kind of like a little box lunch special. When Ken and I were on vacation, we went through uh, Richmond, Virginia, and there's this little restaurant we stopped at named Sally Bell's. And anybody that is in Richmond, um, you lucky dog. <laughs> because, oh my Lord, it was so good. And everything was homemade, handmade deliciousness. So I'm gonna do these little box lunch things on Friday because we're gonna spend the day with the boys and just have a good time. And I can make them ahead of time so I don't have to be in the kitchen cooking. Saturday, Ken requested a old-fashioned fish fry and then Sunday we're having a snack stadium it's just a mini snack stadium because it's just our family for Super Bowl Sunday this year but um, I'm gonna put together a little little something so that's the menu plan this week I've already been to the store um, the only thing I need to pick up is towards the end of the week pick up some fresh fruit uh, for our Super Bowl spread and that's it. And then as far as our experience um, purchasing this grass-fed beef cow, it was um, pretty uh, seamless, I would say. We purchased it from a local farmer who is also a neighbor of ours, and we've known him for eight years. And in fact, two of his boys have been uh, caretakers of our property while we were still living in California. They would uh, do all the landscaping and maintenance in the yard and plow the driveway in the winter and if anything needed repair they would coordinate it and take care of it for us. So we've employed them for like eight years. So um, their parents knew we were looking for a grass-fed uh, beef cow and that's what they do for a living. They have a, this huge farm and I have no idea how many acres or how many cows they have. It's just a, it's a lot. But um, I think it was kind of their way of maybe being neighborly back to us. They gave us a very good price. Um, even with, okay, so let me back up just real quick. The process is you have to purchase the cow from the um, farmer and then um, it has to be inspected by this veterinarian. He comes out and makes sure the animal is in good health. And then we hired a professional um, butcher shop to um, process the meat. And they did everything um, from aging it to cutting it how we wanted it and packaging it. So it, all we had to do was just go and pick it up basically just like it was just like going to the grocery store they had it all packaged up they loaded the car it was pretty crazy and it came down to two dollars and fifty cents two dollars and fifty one cents to be precise precise um, per pound for grass-fed um, beef it was crazy so um, I just added it to my freezer inventory I've been keeping up on my freezer inventory pretty good um, just whatever I have in the freezer, I have it in here. I need to do this with my pantry as well. That's one of my goals. You might see it in one of my organizational um, videos in some 
a few weeks down the road. It's one of my goals I want to do is get my pantry inventory as well because this makes menu planning like super duper easy. Let me take you out to the freezer and I'll show you um, how they packaged our meat. They packaged the um, beef according to our cut sheet in this freezer paper stuff and what I'm want to do is go back and um, use my food saver and um, vacuum pack it. So I'm going to do a little bit every day. That's that's what I'm going to do. But it's all packaged and um, yeah, they did a great job. And and over here, the whole um, door is just, just full. Just full. And I have a little bit in my freezer in the house too. And I just wanted to point this out. This is a grass-fed um, beef of uh, one pound that um, I have bought at our local grocery store um, several times and it's I want to say it's like $9.99 a pound but it goes on sale $8.99 a pound a lot and I see like a dollar off per pound coupons quite frequently and that's pretty much the cheapest I've seen it at our local grocery store at Aldi's I noticed that they had a grass-fed ground beef for about six dollars a pound and uh, this is a two pound package so this cost us um, five dollars and this cost us the equivalent of like eighteen dollars <laughs> so the value um, sh for was sure there um, so yeah I, I'm definitely would uh, do this again it was a enormous blessing to our family for sure <laughs> Here's our grocery haul and it's from Aldi's and Price Chopper. As far as proteins, I got a couple big packages, family size packages of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. They were on sale at um, Price Chopper or Aldi's? Price Chopper, yeah. And so I got those for the freezer and then I got um, a half of a pork loin. This was from Aldi's, it was on sale. I got that for the freezer. And then I got a couple packages of the hamburger patties for the freezer and um, some brats there on sale for $1.99. That was, thought that was a good price. So we got some of those for the freezer and then um, I'll pull them out for Super Bowl. Got eggs, six dozen at Aldi's. And I know everybody's like wants to know what the price was. I think it was $1.07 or $1.02, something like that. Not as good as some of the prices I've seen. At Price Chopper, the Cabot Cheese was on sale, so we stocked up. We got two of each. I got some uh, Colby Jack, and I had a coupon for the bacon. We got Haddock at Aldi's. It was actually cheaper than Price Chopper. And then I got a couple things of the ham. I like the ham better than Aldi's turkey. It, the boys didn't even finish the turkey uh, the last time we went to Aldi, so I just got two hams. Then Ken, I think, put these in the cart. <laughs> he likes them. So that's about all the proteins we got. Then over here to the vegetables, we got some bananas at both Aldi's and Price Chopper, because I had a, a $1.50 free bananas for Price Chopper. Got some grapes, some honey crisps, some mini cucumbers, an English cucumber, some fresh snow peas, some uh, peppers, broccoli. I had a coupon for avocado at Price Chopper. One tomato, a couple of the grape tomatoes, cabbage, romaine lettuce, a bib lettuce, and then these were on sale two for four and then I had coupons for those so I picked up the spinach, some sprouts, and then onions, carrots, celery, green onions, garlic, cilantro, and radishes. Then over here, this I'm trying to figure out how much we actually paid for these because these were on sale for um, $2.99 and then there was a dollar off think in-store coupon and then how much was that one coupon dollars dollar fifty okay so that was 75 cents off each so it was crazy we paid 
hardly anything for these. So I thought for Super Bowl, we got three of them. Um, I would just doctor them up, put extra pepperoni and cheese and some sausage. And I have a little tiny bit of prosciutto and um, capicola in the fridge. I might throw that turkey on that the kids didn't eat and just doctor these suckers up. So I'm set. And then I was really pleased to find these. These were um, on sale, two fifty dollars off, and then I had a $1.50 off coupon. So um, I get these for my mom. Sometimes when she's not eating very well, we'll supplement uh, for protein. And the same thing with this. There was a dollar coupon, and then they had an in-store coupon, and then I had a double coupon that you could double it. <laughs> up to a dollar so I got three of these for her too so these were this was a good good sale and then the milk bones were on sale and I had coupons what was it a dollar off the box plus they were on sale so I got six of those so that was just like a stock up item and then dog food and then as far as dairy we got a gallon of milk buttermilk light cream a couple of croissant rolls because Super Bowl, we're going to do the little pigs in the blanket. Some heavy cream. This was a great price at Aldi's. I forget what it was, but I picked it up because it was really a good deal. Some sour cream, coffee, and then blue cheese dressing. And I was really excited to see uh, Bulgur Wheat for the second time at Aldi's. I, I bought it for a future tabbouleh salad. We got some malt vinegar for our fish fry and then I really scored on the Hellman's because the Hellman's was a loss leader at our store for $1.99 and then um, there was like a in-store coupon I want to say it was like a dollar off and then I got a Catalina for $1.50 off too so <laughs> I was like so excited about that um, the ketchup was on sale so I got a couple of those and then as far as non food items I saw this at at Aldi's and it was so soft and I'm I'm always cold when watching TV colder than Ken so I think I'll use this as a cover-up on the sofa and then they had these at Aldi's the little refrigerator um, containers and these were like four dollars and something I believe less than five dollars so I, I picked up one and this was the whole reason I went to Aldi's because these were 249 for two and I have everything I need for Super Bowl except some serving platters. So, anyway, and then Ken picked up a, a banana fruit container at Aldi's. We stocked up on some Comet. And then I was going to run into Walmart to get the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. And I saw that they had the kettle corn at um, Aldi's. So, we got three. One didn't make it home. It was really, really good. And I, I couldn't tell the difference, except for the price. It's like a fourth of the price. But um, yeah, that was really good. So I figured we'd do a kettle corn instead of uh, chips for the Super Bowl. Got some panko breadcrumbs for the Parmesan, uh, chicken Parmesan. Just a loaf of bread. I had a dollar off coupon, and then it was $1.88, so it was like 88 cents. So that worked out good. And then I got some um, hamburger buns and hot dog buns from Aldi's. And then this was a good deal too. These were $2.99 a piece, but they had um, a special two for four. And then I had a dollar off bakery coupon. So I ended up getting them um, and then the double coupon. So that anyway, one was like a dollar and one was 99 cents or something like that. So that was pretty good. And then I this jumped into the cart. <laughs> Usually Ken's the one that doesn't stick to the list, but I was at all these and it was like, they looked pretty good. You know what I mean? I usually make my own brownies, but I, yeah, triple fudge got me. And then Ken just got some crackers and that was our, our haul. We haven't really had one since our last one three weeks ago. I think Ken went maybe once and got some milk and some lettuce or something. I think a tomato or something like that. Not much. So we're all stopped up. And this was our grocery haul. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Mm -hmm.